Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Liverpool Career Mode here on FIFA 19. Right, we're about to start Season 3, the final season with Liverpool. Yes, I've decided that this is going to be the final season. So it's going to be just a wacky, well not wacky, but uh, just go for like the, the, you know, some players that are just crazy, like, you know, ratings and stuff like that. Um, so that every side that we put out is going to be top rated sides. Now and again, there'll be the odd player, like younger player that I'll, that I'll drop in now and again, sort of thing. What I'm also going to do, guys, is every single month will be an episode now to when we finish. So certain games is going to be a tough one where i got to decide like you know what, I mean? what i'll do is i'll pick two games that i'll do properly you know, like doing the commentary like i normally do and then the other ones will have like that sort of you know like the little mini sort of like highlights package with the, the music and stuff over that there's going to be some games where you just think oh why didn't you put that one in you know what i mean I that's going to happen. But at the end of the day, guys, as you can see above me, we've always made the, the signs of Dembele. We know that our black is in as well. So I'm thinking I've got some more players to bring in um, as well. As you can see, I've also signed um, Gabriel Jesus from Manchester City for 95 and a half million. Yeah, um, we're going all out, guys. Like, you know what I mean? Um, you might think, oh, why are you buying a Man City player? I wouldn't buy a Man United player. That is adamant and i wouldn't buy an everton player that is adamant those are our two biggest like you know hated rivals like sort of thing man city are very very close to that as well along with like sort of chelsea arsenal do you know what i mean at the end of the day but it's going to weaken them and at the end of the day this guy i know he plays for man city but he is bloody amazing like you know what i mean so quick he's like talented on the ball and stuff like that and it just means that we can dominate with him sort of thing so yeah it's going to cause a bit of controversy i understand that but at the end of the day it's just a computer game guys <laughs> chill out right obviously i want to get this done so that i can get my new project up and running i wanted it to start in january but unfortunately time restraints and stuff for that i've not managed to do it but it should by the time it works out towards the end of january guys and that's when the new project's going to start um there'll be more leading up to it that i'll put out a videos explaining more what it's going to be about and how you guys can um interact with um, this new project and stuff like that so um yeah let's um crack on then and um let's um take on we've got basically you can see there's monaco and that's basically only because it's a pre-season tournament as you can see just here and um, we've got um Dortmund, Monaco and Leverkusen all in our group with the other group being Lazio, Buenos Aires, Racing Club, Atletico Mineiro. As you might have like guessed, we are in South America. We're in Argentina, guys, um, doing this um, um, sort of pre-season tournament just to get um, Liverpool's name out in South America. I mean, obviously, everyone knows we're around the world, but um, that, that's one of the, the key aspects of like getting like some... You know shirt sales and stuff we've got to make 176 million we should easily do that no problem right so yeah monaco is up first now before we do crack in uh, crack in crack on i should say um there are a few players that are out um at the euros you know what i mean so it's um as you can see at the back line it's kind of um weakened you know what i mean but it gives nate phillips um and bust us a, a bit of a chance i've also brought in a new formation now this formation is this one here where i'm thinking about playing three at the back and you're thinking why would you do that well it's because we've got so many talented front forward players that i thought that could come in at some point i'm not going to use it all the time but i just thought you know looking at that side that would be pretty incredible wouldn't it um gomez maybe you know is, is the weakest so because of that what oh no they want to do that uh, no um because of that i've added um matt hummels to this possible list he's 31 yes but he is 89 rated and we could maybe bring him in i've also got essentia on the list now because i was speaking to lex in the in the chat and i was speaking to other people they're not entirely happy with the fact of me bringing ericsson in another person did say that maybe go for continue not going for Coutinho, that guy wanted to like, you know, put in a transfer request and doesn't want to play for Liverpool. He's shot himself in the foot. Don't want to know anything about him. Not interested in Coutinho, just like Torres was and just like uh, the, the snake Sterling as well sort of thing. So they're not going back to his club. I've also added Kante and I'm thinking maybe I could go for Kante instead of Verratti or I could go for them both. I'm not sure on this one. You're probably thinking, why is Wayne Campbell there? Well, um, he was our player, but I've got too many players in the squad and he got kicked out. Um, so I'm having to bring him back. Um, he got kicked out into into the, the free agents whatever, because I've got far too many players. So I'm going to have to sell some players before I can actually bring these guys in, sort of thing. So 
Um, yeah, um, I've had to actually release um, Virtue Thick to, to to accommodate Jesus coming in, so um, that cost us, I think it was like 68,000 or something to release him or something like that anyway, like, you know what I mean? But yeah, um, right, here we go then, let's crack on, um, like I say, and we're going to take on um, Monaco in the um, pre-season tournament. What I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to sim it through, not sim it as in sim it i mean what i mean is i'm gonna play the games off camera i'm not gonna do like a, a little montage for these because it's only pre-season and then what we can do is i'll just show you actually because you know um what our first like um league encounter is it's actually arsenal but we've also got obviously manchester city in the community shield so manchester city will be um in today's episode guys that um that is what is basically going to be happening with some transfers and stuff like that but that's you know that's that's how it's going to be um, the other game that will also be in will be um uh, leon now i did say there would be two games per month you know what i mean and like those are the two games so i might possibly bend it a little bit because Arsenal's the first game in the season so I might include the Arsenal game as well um, we'll just see how that goes like you know what I mean but the others they will definitely be like the little montage like you know highlights package for that and that'll take us right up until um, the transfer window um, so I will not I will finish it on the 30th um because that way next episode you'll still have that one transfer deadline day just, just come up with any other like players that you think i should go for um and that gives you your final chance um, before the season starts right i've said it already let's crack on right then so there has been some transfer dealings which you obviously thought would happen anyway um in the pre-season tournament basically we lost in the final <laughs> um yeah Lost 2-1 in the final to Lazio, um, but yeah, it was a good, I mean, I wasn't too bothered by it, like, you know what I mean, um, it, it is kind of gutting, you know what I mean, but at the end of the day, um, it was good, that, I mean, Salah, I think, in the end, got five goals, he had a fantastic pre-season, he looks like he's back to his best, which is great, so it looks like he's going to have a great season. Uh, Dembele, I'm, I'm sure on at the moment, he did get a goal, like, in pre-season, but there's just certain things about him that I think he will, It's a bit. he's a bit like Vinicius Jr. when he started, I'm, I'm a bit, like, not sure at the moment, like, you know what I mean? Um, Sadio Mane has been moaning and moaning, sort of thing, so I've decided I'm going to sell him. We've had a transfer offer from Real Madrid for him, 70 million I've accepted it we'll see if that one goes through um, um sort of thing and I've had to, and some of the players have like you know sort of like gone by the wayside they can see um Guerin um has gone out on loan to Benfica Curtis Jones has gone out on loan to Huddersfield we brought in Matt Hummels um you can just about sort of see him behind my head Akanji is part of that deal with a 48 and a half million deal on top of that as well um Asensio unbelievable amount of money that's like been spent I mean 122 it was for Isco, but this one's cost us Decore, who was valued at about 36 million, um, and also um, 115 million on top of that for Asensio. Um, he's okay. Um, uh, yeah, he, he's definitely um, a world class player, so um, um, thanks to Lex for, for getting him in. Um, Campbell, I said about, I basically brought him back free, like just to have a, a backup. Like, he, he's got good potential. Kante, I've gone ahead and I've got as well for 81 million. Uh, we knew about Jesus uh, for 95 and a half, but Kante, wow, I played with him in pre season and he just, he's like this, like buzzing bee in the midfield he just whizzes around everywhere like sort of thing trying to hunt everyone down and stuff like that so um yeah i'm actually glad that i've actually got him like you know what i mean so um I, uh, Verratti, they wanted like stupid amount of money for him so i was torn between Verratti and i was torn between Kante. Kante's coming at 81 they wanted i think it was like 100 million or something for Verratti. i think only because he's only just transferred to barcelona so i think that's why um, the cases. I'm still not sure whether to bring him in, and I'm still not sure um, also um, whether to bring in um, Christian Eriksen. They're the two players that are still sat here. Um, I'm going to leave these two for you guys to decide on whether I do bring them in because you've got to remember that we've also got we've got Kondogbia, we've got Artur as well, like sort of thing in there, like you know what I mean. So. Do you think I bring these two in as well, just to make it just stupid? <laughs> like the amount of players I'll have, I just won't have enough 
space to fit them in. Um, let's just show you an idea of like, you know, some of the players that obviously that we've got now, like, I mean, at the club. Um, I've got Marco Asensio, we've got Isco on the bench, we've got Firmino there. I mean, I'm going to switch the this round uh, sort of thing. So um, I will play Isco in there. We've got Naby Keita who will come in here. We've Kante. I mean, it's just looking like it's just looking ridiculous right now. Um, Neres will swap for Salah. I mean, like it's just like I say, I've got Matt Hummel there. Um, this side looks insane. The only issue is is the right back position, and the only right back that I can think of that is this like 80 odd rated, you know, 88, 89 rated or something, is Joshua Kimmich. Now I had Joshua Kimmich um, in FIFA 18. I did want to like not necessarily bring in players. In fact, swap Junior for Asensio. Um, do you, do you know what I mean? So, do you think I bring Joshua Kimmich in just for that right back? Considering Cancelo is really good, and also we've got Trent Alexander Arnold, um, I just think just for the sake of bringing him in, maybe not, maybe worth it. And that is just going to be our weakest area because, as you can see, uh, everywhere else is looking absolutely insane right now. This side is like nearly getting on to like nearly being all 90 rated it's just crazy absolutely madness like you know what I mean right so here are the two lineups and as you can see um because we've obviously got Jesus now and it's Tottenham have got Aguero they're kind of struggling in the striking department aren't they so they've brought in Kramerich um in there I mean they have got Sané and Silver either side of him obviously Kevin De Bruyne is a th massive threat as well but it's not looking uh, more uh, like a threatening Man City side that, that has been in the past. Fernandinho is obviously like uh, because he's got past 30, he's starting to drop. He's at 80 rated now. But Martinez in there, Stones and Laporte, and um, Cal Walker. I thought Cal Walker was like higher rated than that. He's not. He's not that good, is he? Really rating wise. And then Mendy um, on the other side. So it's it's it's, it's not. We absolutely smash them when it comes to like you know comparing the, the you know the two sides whatever. But um, yeah, it's. It's crazy that isn't it? Like, you know what I mean? Um what their lineup is like now. Um obviously in real life, yes, they've they've stopped us, our, our unbeaten run has come to an end, but hey, at the end of the day, they've got to catch us. We're four points ahead of them. As long as we continue doing what we're doing, then they've still got to like, you know, they've got to hope that we slip up. But at the end of the day, they can't afford to slip up, and that's what it comes to. Same goes for for, for, the, for Spurs as well, like sort of thing. So um back to this game, not reality or whatever. Let's crack on and win this community shield, shall we? Here we are, Wembley, and it's all its glory, looking fantastic. It's just a shame I'll never get to go there. Um, I got to go to the old Wembley only three times. Um, that, that's basically the, the three times I got to go to Wembley. But there it is, Community Shield, kick off um, Premier League season. That's what it is. So here we go. Lots of um, debuts out there on show today. Let's see how they all perform. Hernandez now. Into Bobby Firmino. Turns this around the corner. Finds Keita. Just dinks this over. It's a great chance. Salah. What a goal. Oh, man. Lovely little dink over the top from Naby Keita. And Salah just bangs it in. Wow. He's clapping kind of through Salah's head there. That was weird. Little dink over, bang. Um, I want to make a. Ah, oh, this is ace thing. I'm hoping that my commentary now is like kind of just on 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 with like the gameplay and stuff like that. Um, and if it is, um, then I want to make a, a massive thank you to um, a person that got in touch with me um, via email. Very touching email and it was very nice of them to do so and stuff like that um, and I'll, I'll pop their like you know their name up on the screen right now like yeah it, Malcolm Clark is the, is the person that's ugh, just talking about Malcolm and now Dr. Kevin De Bruyne score because I knew he would like because he just you got to stop him it's not Malcolm's fault okay like you know what I mean but yeah um that was too busy talking and I've, you know me by now guys when I start talking I lose focus and they always score but anyway yeah Malcolm has, has told me about some certain settings and stuff like that with it regarding OBS and stuff and I'm hoping like that it's kind of fixed but 
but we will see uh, when I go to edit it. So yeah, just incredible strike. Unfortunately, all black. Um, even though he's 92 rated, wasn't able to keep that one out. You can say I was up against him, but he still managed to get out through that. Mendy now shot. Fernandinho, great save, oh black, wow. What a save that is. After this guy, Fernandinho in the, in the press is saying that, you know, he thinks that Liverpool are going to bottle it. I mean, yeah, well, we'll see it in the season, mate. Well, I went to, thought Asensio was making a run and then he's just did, trying to read sometimes these AI when they're doing stuff and you just can't. It's like, they don't, they don't have the same intelligence as what they should have. Kante back there in the right back or left back. Oh no! How weird is this goal? How bizarre is this goal? That it hits the post, rolls across the line and it's that man. Oh, he's becoming a pain in the bum, isn't he? Fernandinho. Mmm, what a twat. Okay, come on. It was just the way that, in real life, it wasn't him that scored it, but it was just City's goal went in off one post. It was Sane, wasn't it? Rolls across, it's the other post, nearly bounced out, but it stays in, and it's just weird how that's happened. And it's weird that it's 2-1 as well. All right, come on, let's make amends. Lost off focus, we need to get it back. Let's go now, Cater. That's a great ball. Mo, finish it. There we go. Where was that in real life? Oh, that was super. Cater is. Cater had a fantastic season last season. And he is just. Had a fantastic preseason. And he's just. I wish he was like this in real life. I don't know why he isn't. Fabinho is starting to play like the player that we thought he was when we signed him. But Nabi Cater. I just want him to be able to do this in real life because we would just absolutely rip teams to bits like if he can suddenly find his form that he was doing for like Leipzig. Another change coming now. Um, Nawalki is coming off of Kevin De Bruyne. Okay, what this is just bizarre from... This is really bizarre. Why are they taking off better players and bringing on lesser players? I do not know. Doesn't make sense. Here we go, Hernandez. Isco knocks this forward. Bobby is through. Oh, Kante. Oh, is it Cater? I think it was Cater, actually. No, yeah, it is. Okay, can you get this in? So it's a great chance. Please be on side. Thank you very much. I mean, wow. Nabi. He's just, he's having, he's just, oh. This season's going to be amazing, guys. I'm just saying right now. Look at this. Salah. Look, where are all the defenders? Where have they all gone? They've all come towards this side of the field. And Mo Salah is just one-on-one. -on -one. Foden's on. When did he come on? I didn't even see... I've just seen that. He's just... When did he come on? Did he come on at half-time? I can't believe, like, this, the Man City side that they're, they're playing right now. But they're... I mean... That's just nuts. Mo Salah hat-trick. Wow. Surging forward, Bobby wants it through the middle. Here is Bobby Firmino. Can he finish it? Oh, he's hit the bar. Or should I say it was a save onto the bar? Wow. What a save. Sensio, can he get this out here to Dembele? It's a great ball. Get it up down. Whip this in. Oh, yes, no. Oh my God. Gabriel Jesus misses the header. It nearly fell back to him. Cater now through the... Oh, nearly inside here to Fabinho. It's fresh. Come on, can surge forward. Get Dembele through. It's a great ball from Fabinho. It's, it's Moussa Dembele. Oh, and it's not Moussa Dembele. It's a... It's Ousmane Dembele. <laughs> what am I on about? And he should have finished that. But this guy, Edison, literally, we could have had five six whatever if it went for him can we find someone in the box we've got plenty of people hey zeus it's the bar we've hit the bar somebody's it's just we, this is incredible but it's all over i mean we've actually done it but uh, this should have been over and done with 
If it wasn't for Edison and the woodwork, wow. But Mo Salah getting a hat trick. I mean, awesome. First bit of silverware, guys. We didn't get the preseason tournament. That doesn't really count, but this one does. Because we're going for we're going for six trophies. We're going for this one done. Super Cup coming up, um, and then we've got obviously the four big ones. Um, well, Cabbage Cup isn't that big, is it? To be honest, but you know what I mean. Um, so we've got the Cabbage Cup. We got FA Cup. Uh, Big ears and the Premier League. But there it is. Nicely done, guys. Okay, so um, here are the um, two lineups. Um, as you can see, um, we've gone with the strongest side we've got. It's just insane side, isn't it? Now look at it. Um, apart from obviously Trent Alexander Arnold, which I decided I'm gonna maybe try and get him to play like more rather than Sayo, possibly. Because I think Trent Alexander-Arnold's um, potential is probably higher, so if I'm getting him up to like you know these 88 rated like sort of players, that'd be awesome. Um, but yeah, it's um, it's just packed, isn't it? Like you know what I mean. And then you look at um, Arsenal side, and it's looking uh, strange. It's not like an Arsenal side you expect. I mean, the back line's a bit um, different. They've got Jonathan Tarr's good signing. They've got Almeida in there. They've got Klosterman. Um, in the midfield, we've got Lo Celso, uh, Pereo, we've got Sola, Aubameyang's playing out on the left, Ozil in behind Lacazette. Yeah, um, interesting um, lineup, but yeah, uh, let's see how we um, get on against um, Arsenal because we usually score quite a lot of goals against them. It's well, they, they, know, they also score quite a lot of goals against. It's, it's usually a, a lot of goals in this match anyway. Like so, let's crack on. Well, rainy day here in August, um, usually sunny um, on the first day of the season, but we've got the rain coming down today um, to kick off the season, so as the currently crowned Premier League champions, us, um, walk out and to an Arsenal stadium that's hoping that they can do better than they did it in last season, that's what they'll be hoping. Down the line here from Trent, Cater inside, Salah, can you go one more? Can the chance of Isco got Dembele out here can he go oh he's at the bar man I hate this game right now with the buddy when are they going to fix it I hope they fix it in January but the amount of times you hit the post and the bar is just ridiculous since like I think it's November's update they just don't know what the hell they did right Cater Firmino's through can Salah get this across he can Dembele hits the post are you kidding me it's an open goal thank you Cater I mean Wow, this game, unbelievable. But Naby starts the campaign with the first goal of the season for us. Hernandez inside. Naby always looking for the Salah ball on. Cuts inside, knocks it back. Cater, them two <laughs> are going to be this season i can see it unless like something bad happens to them they get injured or something like that you know what i mean i wish i shouldn't have said that touch word you know what i mean um yeah they are just i don't know different level they are like got this great understanding and nabi kater bags his second conte outside of the foot and that's a great ball and but then belly's away here and he's still going and how on earth that's a penalty Almeida there, I'm just going to say, he pulled on his shoulder. Is it a red card? Was he the last man? Not even a card? Are you kidding me? This is something we've not got in the side, apart from Fabinho. Um, we haven't really got a, 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 you know, a good penalty taker. Um, so, can this go bury this? He can. Nicely done, mate. Nicely done. Yeah, what are they going to do? They're going to go short. Terreras, come on. It's a good challenge. Oh, okay, it got something on that. Come on. No, no, no. Get rid of it. Oh, why does it do this? This annoying game does this. It knows that I wanted a clean sheet. Every time I'm challenging there and, not, and it just kept going back to Arsenal players. Every time. Look, it's just like... Challenge pops up in the air, gets to his end. It's just, it's just so frustrating, and you know that there's nothing you can do. They're determined to score. And Mel Black should have gone, but done better there. To be honest, he moved his arm away. Good header from Asensio. What's he doing all the way back there? Don't matter. We've got to win. First day of the season. Three points in the bag. That's what we want. And there we are. 
boos from the Arsenal fans as always because they're just crap at supporting their team there you go um, yeah right so let's um, go take on Liam right then so here are the um, two sides as you can see I've decided to put Alisson in goal for this one that's the only change the rest of them are all like as you would expect you know what I mean so yeah I've decided to give Alisson this one like you know what I mean all black got the community shield give Alisson um, this one I mean they are I mean two world class keepers so at the end of the day it shouldn't be a problem um, you know I wouldn't have had a problem putting Alisson in there like last season he had a fantastic season didn't he um, strange lineup maybe 4-1 is it 4-3-1-2 is that how it is I don't know but as you can see in the middle two ex Liverpool players Jeannie Wijnaldum and James Milner is playing in there they've got Depay and I take it that's is that Janssen that used to play for Tottenham maybe could be Janssen that's up, up there um, our, um, I had at um, Liverpool when uh, FIFA 18, so we know he's, he's not too bad. We've got Nastasic, Paulista, Philip Luis, Pereira. We've got some decent players in there. Goalkeeper's good as well. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be an interesting one. we just got to make sure that we win it this time instead of um, losing it drastically bad the last time. Um, so, here we go. Okay, so here we are with the Super Cup, you know, like um, overlays. Uh, um, Make it a big deal about this for one game. It's just mad, isn't it? Like they put all this effort in, and make it all special and stuff for this one game. Um, but they don't put anything else into career mode. It just goes to show where the money comes from. You wait for give them a load of money for the license, whatever sort of thing. They've got to make a big deal about it. Just wish they'd sort everything else out with career mode. Whip this in. Looks it all. Yeah, they can say. Cater, seller. Does it the post but goes in. Cater and Salah again. It's the best combination at the moment, isn't it? Wow. Well, I um, don't know why it's working, but it just is. Cater and Salah are just just on the same telepathic, you know, wavelength right now. Can see he's going out here to try and stop Pereira, but it's come across and Baran has done superbly to win that. Nabi Cater now just knocks this up here to Salah. And Salah's away, if he can. Thinks it in. Oh, we tried to find Cater, actually. Wasn't able to. Here's Depay. Trent Alexander-Arnold's won that. Inside is Naby. Looks it inside here to find Isco. He's going to have a go. It's blocked. It's calling to Dembele. And how on earth is Lopez, but he's offside. But how has he saved this? Can see, can he get this out to? It's a great ball. That's a superb ball. Come on, Dembele. Find Bobby. Yes. Bobby is off and running. He's not. Did he score in pre season? I don't think he did. I think that's his first goal. Um, I don't think he scored in the pre season. So, but he started slow last season. So I'm not. I'm not worried. Should win that. Van Dijk does win that. Dembele wins that. Salah's got this. Get it back to Dembele. Get this as a cross. Keita. Oh, no, it's wide. Oh, that would have been a superb goal. I mean, he was getting a lot of pressure from the defender behind him, but, oh, if that had gone in. Mariano's a good sign as well, but he's going to get a lot less games nowadays. That's this goal. We've got Keita running. Can you get this through to Bobby? Surely... Game set and match now, surely. 3 0. That was superb. Just everyone ran where they were, were meant to run. Do you know what I mean? That, that was just, yeah. Let's go through. Cater through. All on side. And the keeper comes and Bobby just slides it past him. And that's Bobby's second of the game. Is Junior going to get a cross in? Cater's up against him. We know what he can do, but. He's managing to wear. He never done that on this squad. Gini Wijnaldum never done that when he was playing for us. Like they just don't want the game is now basically saying no more clean sheets. It's not bad if I've got like players that have got bonuses where they get clean sheets because that ain't going to happen. Like you know what I mean? The game just does not want you to have a clean sheet anymore. Whipped in chance. Ah, oh, cleared off the line. It did get to Van Dijk. Well. Salah all the way back here, don't know where Trent Alexander-Arnold is, Hummels gets link on that, here is Trent, come on, no! 
Trent is a problem. He is a problem. Like there, I mean, he's just not strong enough. It is our weak area, the right back position. Do I sort it out by bringing in someone? I don't know. It's a, he's just not strong enough there in that in that position. Um, I could play Jim Gomez there. Ah, oh, that's annoying. There we go. We have it. This year it's ours. We get to lift it. Missed out last time. This time Van Dijk will get to lift it. They were frustrating to play against, but they weren't in the game. Do you know what I mean? They weren't threatening. It was just that's a pain in the arse conceding to. But well, at least we'll get to lift this thing this time. We'll get to see it rather than seeing Napoli lift it um, last year. So, second bit of silverware of the episode, guys. Here we go. Oh, yes. Nice one. Well done, lads. Just uh, another four to go. <laughs> Let's crack on, get these three games out of the way, get you like a little highlights package, and I'll be back um, after that to, to say goodbye um, and um, move on to September. Right. is August done um, ready for you guys to decide on what we do on transfer deadline day with regards to Ericsson and um, Baratti and also whether you think maybe Kimmich but as you saw in that game well you're not seeing quite a lot of that game but Gomez played in the right back position and he's a lot stronger in that position than what uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold is and we've also got Kinsale so I don't think maybe we need to bring in Kimmich just to bring those like that that area like up to the 88 like where everyone else seems to be but anyway as you can see we are sitting pretty at the top four wins out of four we've only conceded one goal which is fantastic and um, to get some like clean sheets in there as well like sort of thing um all black seems to be an inspired signing for us but again 
hitting the post so many times is unbelievable, like, you know what I mean? But yeah, great start um, to the season. As you can see, it's us, Chelsea, Crystal Palace, and Spurs that are up there. Where are the other big um, hitters? The um, other six. Uh, Man City are 10th. Uh, Arsenal down in 16th. Manchester United down in 17th. Wow, okay. That's not a um, good start for those, um, but that's good. <laughs> Leicester right at the bottom. Hmm. Yeah, they need to book their ideas up, don't they, like, sort of thing. Um, so, right, there we go. I mean, it's been a longer episode than normal, but you can understand why, because, like, um, um, of, like, the amount of fixtures I want to get through and stuff like that, like, sort of thing. So, the episodes might be longer. Um, oh, we've had a Champions League. I've just seen that. Champions League draw has been made. Totally and utterly forgot that that was going to be happening. Let's have a butchers at that just before we um, shoot off. Didn't even see it come up, to be honest. There we go. Napoli. We got Villa Royale and Sparta Prague in the um, in the group. So Napoli, um, we we lock horns again with them. Um, so I would say it was going to be those two at the top there going through. Let's have a quick butchers at the other groups just to quickly go through. PSG, Bayern, Ajax, Dynamo Zagreb. Um, yeah, interesting one, that one. Real Madrid, Milan, Dynamo Kiev, RB Salzburg. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Man United, Schalke, CSK, Moscow, Besiktas. Uh, Man United might have a couple of struggles there. Um, Atletico, Inter, Anderlecht, Spartak. You'd say the top two there. Chelsea, Leon, Dortmund. That's an interesting group. That is an interesting group. Could be a few upsets there. Um, Spurs are in with Juventus, Club Bruges and Lokomotiv Moscow. I'd say Spurs should be alright to get through that. And then finally, Bayer Leverkusen, Barca, Porto, Shakhtar, Donetsk. You'd say that was probably the toughest group out of the, the, the draw there. like so. But there we go, Champions League has been done. Um, we will be facing some Champions League um, matches in the next episode, as you can see. We have got Sparta Prague there, and we've also got Napoli. So they will be... Oh, we've got... No, it's Carabao Cup. No, it'll just be the two um, Champions League games um, in um, the next episode. The rest of them will be um, highlights packages um, coming in there. So, yeah, that is how things are, are looking, guys. Um, thank you very much for tuning in. Thanks to all the new subscribers. Thanks for you popping along, guys. Yeah, I do appreciate it. Um, please tell your friends about it. We're trying to get a thousand by the end of 2019. Um, we'll see if that happens or not. Like, you know what I mean? We managed to smash 800 um, before the end of 2018. So, well, let's see if we can get a thousand by the end of 2019. Uh, thumbs up would be appreciated. Awesome. Take it easy. I'll catch you next time. Dave from Mongo Gaming signing off. Cheers.